the Caddick family for the most exciting words in motorsports. Jeremy, stop your engines! We remember the late Don Caddick with a 50 lap extravaganza as the field comes around the fourth corner. The jump by the 29 of Hedges as Hedges took it to the edge to get it started. And as they go down the back stretch, Tyler Tomasi and Yellow out immediately on the track. They're ready to go back to work. They come off turn number four. Green is back out, and Hedges this time, not a big, as big of an advantage. Sean Monahan fighting as hard as he can on the outside as they go down the back stretch. And let's see what Monahan can do. And that car number 35 makes a lunge coming off the corner. And it is Monaghan by a whisker to grab the lead. Moving into third is Tyler Tomasi. And in fourth is the 53 car driven by Glenn Thomas Jr. And Thomas has to worry down low. It is the seven of Paul Newcomb. He's able to see Johnson, lap number 49, Lee Roslow, and Mayhem Motorsports and Dual Tap Insulation, and lap number 50, Ultimate Lawn Care, and Mayhem Motorsports and Dual Tap Insulation. And we are back underway as Sean Monahan gets the jump this time on the outside, looking to go down low as they go down into turn number three. It's time Tyler Tomasi in the battle for second. And Hedges has him covered on the outside as they sprint off the corner. Slight advantage for the 29 of Hedges, but here comes Tomasi. Very confident kid. He spent the last couple of weeks in our Legends division, and right now it is Hedges who is temporarily able to call Tomasi. Tomasi hounding and surrounding him at car number 76. Are ready to increase the decibel level. The getaway by Monaghan. And he already opened up a pretty good gap between him and Hedges. Looking to fill the hole on the inside is Tomasi. He got about a halfway there and started to backpedal. A man on the inside looking tough. That is Glenn Thomas. Matt Lewinsky low is now in. And let's see if we can have a smoother start. With uh, three cautions in the first four laps, you think uh, the field would be used to restarts. We'll see what happens on this one. Here is Monaghan. He's jumping the way he is supposed to. And now Tomasi trying to take second away from Josh Hedges. He gets the nose in there. And he is able to Pinocchio his way into second. On the inside, Lewinsky Low trying to fill the gap as they fire ball off the corner. Lewinsky Low on the go, moving into third. Dropping back to fourth is Hedges. Now Hedges has to worry about Paul Newcomb in the seven car. Newcomb halfway underneath as they are able to Donnie put their way off the corner. Behind them, Keith Scalia. He is off to a great start. And Scalia is the type of guy who gets better as the race goes longer. But a big gap opened up by Sean Monahan. Monahan looking to pull away. Tyler Tomasi in second. Then it's Lewinsky low in third. And closing in on that battle. He starts. It takes off. And we are ready for some fierce action. So we get ready to go back to work. Sean Monahan will bring him to the green flag. We'll see if he can get the jump over Josh Hedges. He does. Accelerates. Grabs the lead. And it's Tyler Tomasi actually who's got the jump on. And Tomasi has his hands full with the Lewinsky Lowe, who's down low, and will try to grab second. And it looks like Lewinsky Lowe is on the verge of doing that. Matt Lewinsky Lowe going for a championship at Star, but going for some big money tonight. Trying to get by Tomasi. And he is able to twist his way into the runner-up position. Moving into third is Hedges and Keith Scalia. He's on a rampage in fourth. Scalia down low will try to grab fifth away as they come off the corner and down on the turn number one. On his out, he is well on his out for the fifth time. QT again with your leader, Sean Monaghan. Remember, when he approaches the restart area, he has to be the first to jump. So let's see if he makes that jump. He does. Pulls away from Lewinsky Low. We'll see if Tomasi can fill the void. Lewinsky Low drops down low, right on the back bumper of Monaghan, as they go down the back stretch. Well, what a great move by Lewinsky Low. He saw an opening on the bottom, and he took it. Taking a spot away from Tomasi. Then it is Hedges in fourth. We have a battle behind him. Pete Scalia never give up. He is 
in the top five again. Right behind him, it's a side-by-side -side duel between Chase Curtis and Jer and Glenn Thomas as they come off turn number four. They're still side-by-side -side and stacked up behind Scalia. And Monahan is widening his lead to six tenths of a second. Now, the fight is for second and third to Massey. He is able to whittle away the distance, separating him from the back upper of Lewinsky Low. Takes it to the inside. Not enough energy to complete the move. And they are pulling away slowly for our fourth place. Trouble in turn two. Car My hand was the master of the restart. Let's see what Lewinsky Low has learned over that last encounter. So we get ready to go again. They chug into turn number three. Monahan fires. Lewinsky Low hangs on as they go down into turn number one. And once again, Lewinsky Low drops down to the back bump of Monahan as Sean looks to pull away down the backstretch. This time it was easier for Lewinsky Low to get to the inside. Double five battle for fourth and fifth. Hedges on the outside. He is able to get the edge on Scalia. And Scalia clawing his way underneath the 29. Can't catch, get there closely enough to make a move. Best battle, second and third. Lewinsky low and Tomasi. Tomasi takes a peek down low as they go down into turn number one. Able to shut the door as Lewinsky low. But Tomasi not giving up. He is on the back bumper as they streak into turn three. And if uh, Lewinsky low and Tomasi are paying attention to each other, they have to neglect the leader, Sean Monaghan. In fourth, uh, moving off is Sharon Curtis, car number 33. He is in the upper tier of the field, and he might be moving fastest of all. So keep an eye on the 33s on the inside, coming out of turn number four, and he might have swallowed some speeding bullets. And Ray Christian now has moved into the top six, so as they go down the back, he's trying to close in on that fifth place car of Jared Curtis. Lewinsky Lowe still has his hands full with Tyler Tomasi as they come off the corner. You know, Jared Curtis, he was almost uh, not in the race a few laps ago. Now Christian, he wanders to the outside, and yellow number seven. With that, and all of a sudden, he went into free fall on the front straightaway, lost a lot of positions, and someone was able to open up a lead. Opening up a lead here on the restart is Sean Monaghan. Lewinsky Lowe was in the picture, so is Samasi. So the focus remains the same, and Monaghan able to pull away again. And Tomasi has a bit of a run down low on Lewinsky Lowe as they come into turn number three on a touch to the back bumper. Lewinsky Lowe hangs on, but Tomasi still digging as they go into one. Ray Christian, he is in fifth, looking to better that as he goes to the bottom. Remember, the bottom is Ray Christian's favorite area on the track, and he is able to uh, be on the verge of getting into the top four. What about Jason Palmer? He is running in 13th. They come off the turn two, and it is Tomasi, a slight advantage on the inside against Lewinsky Low. He has cushioned the, his back bumper as they come off turn number four. And Christian trying to infiltrate the top three. He is underneath Lewinsky Low, halfway there. Second, third, and fourth could fit inside a keyhole. Trying to unlock the door to a podium position is Christian. They go around into the turn. We have problems in turn four. He does. Jumps forward. Lewinsky Lowe dies in turn number 31. And trying to make a comeback is Josh Hedges. He's underneath the 76 of Tomasi. Tomasi as they go into turn number one. And Ray Christian shrinking the lead on Sean Monahan as we are down to 22 circuits to go. And Jason Palmer is shown 13th in our scoring. So here is Curtis underneath the Whiskey Low. That is a battle for the number three spot. Can he get there? And it is Curtis trying to get into third. And it looks like he will pucker Lewinsky Low out. So Jared Curtis, one of the unsung heroes in this race. Lewinsky Low not giving up just yet. He's on the outside trying to hang on to that third place spot. They come off turn number four side by side and by inches at the line. It is still the 17 and Ray Christian has made his way to the back bumper of Sean Monahan. And now it is Curtis. Trying to ready to raise the curtain and ready to take you to the green flag. 
Mr. Speedball Dave Barabal. And Sean Monahan, this time with Ray Christian in his dance posture. And Monahan takes off, leaves Christian in second. Lewinsky Lowe takes up the battle for third. And we have a tremendous hit down in turn number one. Seeing the Monahan, he will join his buddies at the rear of the field. And now the curtain will rise. Will Sean Monaghan rise along with it? The answer is no. He's in trouble. He is out of shape. We are in double figures in yellow flags. Sean Monaghan. Let's see if he can get this restart down against Christian. He does. And now Christian, he's in danger of losing second to Lewinsky Lowe. So Lewinsky Lowe down low off turn him to, and the yellow comes out again. It's tucked away, and we will be ready to start. 19 to go. And on the inside, it is Monaghan, the first to jump. And this time, things look better as Christian Getting momentum. Here comes Christian after Monaghan. They go down the back stretch. Ray Christian tries to nose out in front in the 55. Sean Monaghan hanging on. And Lewinsky Lowe looking right there as they cross the stripe. Looks like Christian had the advantage. Monaghan trying to get it back as they get him up off the corner. Half a car length advantage for Ray Christian as they zip drive into turn number four. Monaghan making a comeback as they barrel off the corner. Runs across the line. Christian the leader. Monaghan hanging on. Now Ray Christian will clear the 35. He takes the lead as they go down into turn three. Lewinsky Lowe in third. A little touch to the back bumper by Monaghan. In fourth is Jared Curtis and Ryan Morgan in fifth. But the action is at the front. The top three drivers can put it on ice cube. Zigzag go for Monaghan as he walks all over the place and drops back to fourth. And Christian is getting and feeling the heat from Lewinsky Lowe. So Matt Lewinsky Lowe now makes a move down low. Can he make his way to the top spot? Ray Christian hanging out on the outside. They're able to shrug him off for now as they streak into turn three. Turn two became an ally for Ray Christian as he used that to fatten his lead against Lewinsky Lowe. In a battle for a third, Jarrett Curtis is trying to get there. What happened to Sean Monaghan? Does that car look like a balloon with the air coming out of it? By the time he stabilized it, he was in third place. And he has to hang on right now as he has the 33 of Jared Curtis trying to make his way underneath. And Curtis will grab the third spot because they go down the back stretch. Just like he did a week ago. Jared Curtis is in the top three. Pulling away, Ray Christian looking for win number four during the year. And now the fight is for third and fourth between Jared Curtis and Sean Monaghan. So Sean Monaghan, who was led a lot of laps tonight, he is in danger of not even making the podium. Christian extending his lead over Lewinsky Lowe. Tightening for third and fourth, the battle between Jared Curtis and Sean Monaghan. Then in fifth, Ryan Morgan. He is getting a challenge from Joshua Hedges. Tyler Tomasi has been in the top ten for the entire race. Tony Macrino picking up the pace. Dennis Jaskowski followed by Benavides. But up at the front, Ray Christian. His sparring partner, Jason Palmer, started at the rear of the field and never really looked like Jason Palmer tonight. But Ray Christian is surely look like Ray Christian. In the number two spot, Lewinsky Lowe. Then Jared Curtis. And this is quite a story. The Curtis brothers came on the doorstep of the speed ball. Nobody knew anything about them. They know a lot about them now. In the number four position is Sean Monaghan. And Christian, his lead is 1.151 over Lewinsky Lowe. He made a great three-wide move to get into second. And then he was able to uh, take advantage of whatever happened to Sean Monaghan as he was kicked to the curb. And then Christian got the lead from Lewinsky Lowe on the inside. 
Christian, now leading by 1.486 seconds. So that lead is getting bigger. Headed to the final handful of laps. The outcome is still in doubt for second and third. Lewinsky Law being tested by Jared Curtis. Can the youngster get the second position away from Lewinsky Law? He tried that time. Didn't have enough room to assert himself. Sean Monaghan fourth. Ryan Morgan is fifth. There is Christian. Three laps separating him from a couple behind victory. The only thing he did wrong in this race, he couldn't draw. He drew 10th, but it didn't take him that long to get to the front. Now it is Lewinsky Law holding off Jared Curtis. And Lewinsky Law now giving Curtis room on the inside. As he did not protect the bottom, Curtis is there. Less than two laps to go, and Lewinsky is able to shove off that number 33 of Curtis. We're down to the final lap. Could this be coronation time for Ray Christian? What about Lewinsky Law? Let's see if he can keep the car on the bottom. He can't room on the inside for Curtis. Here comes Curtis, torpedoing his way off the corner. Christian wins, battle for second. Lewinsky Law takes it. Curtis, a close third. Sean Monaghan. Ray, how tough was it to get a run on all those restarts and finally pull it off? Yeah, I mean, uh, any restart of Sean's going to be a war, so uh, that was awesome. I knew I had the dummy in the car and I just uh, had to pick my, pick my time and, you know, it was back as deep as 12th, 13th or something like that and uh, the yellows just kept coming and um, I just kept looking at the laps. I started getting worried about time, so uh, but it was an awesome race. I can't thank the speedboat enough, man. Uh, Don Caddick, he was a great dude, man. I mean, he, uh, he is this place, you know what I mean? He, he's a speedboat guy, you know? And uh, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty awesome to win this race. Uh, I gotta give a shout out to every guy, every person who helped get this place drained. I mean, this place was on the water two days ago, yesterday, and uh, we got to race today, so that's awesome. Well, a lot of people on the car who need to give thanks for winning the race. Uh, I want to thank all my guys, man. My brother on the radio did a great job. My wife is here, my newborn. You know, it's midnight. You got to eat. What can you say about that? Uh, my mom and Ben, my dad, Tracy, Chris, uh, everybody, Derek and Amy. They give me a place to keep this thing really cool. Give me a chance to drive this car, and uh, everybody that helps me out.